Hello everyone. In this video we will look at a generation that depends on another generation. Let's add decor generation to our rooms. I already told you in one of the previous videos that special actor component can add new tiles, change tile states and delete tiles. We have already considered one actor component that creates a rectangular area. Now consider another actor component. To do this, create another blueprint based on the WFC actor class. Let's add an actor component that adds new tiles and initializes states based on the already existing generation. We will also add a function for generating. We can copy it from here. Only now we don't use this component, but this one. Let's call the setup states function. Save it. Let's create the first type of decor tile. First, let's create a folder, call it decor. For almost any generation, the basic tile type is the void tile. The tile that is located between the generation elements. So far, for convenience, we will specify a standard cube and mesh. We will leave everything else unchanged for now. Also create a folder decor. Create a new tiles preset. Moving the created tile. It will be adjacent to itself horizontally and vertically. Let's transfer the created actor to the stage. Let's set it up the same way as the room generator. The coordinates should be the same. Tile size 150. Tile height 340. Specify the tiles preset for the decor. It remains to specify for our tile in which tiles it can be generated. This is done using the attributes property. In it, we can specify additional tile. A special object was created for the actor component, which has the necessary property. It specifies the name of the tile and the relative rotation in which this tile can be generated. If the turn is not specified, then there can be any turn. Let's specify the inner tile of the rooms.
We'll save it. Generate does not work. Because in the actor component you need to specify the WFC actor on which the generation will depend. We will indicate the generator of rooms. Here we see that our void tile has appeared in the inner tiles of the room. We will indicate the remaining tiles of the room. Now we have a cube in all tiles. You can also specify the tile of the door. Let's create another new tile. For the torch, let's take a mesh from the plugin folder. Such a torch on the ceiling. The type of symmetry is X. We will also indicate where it should be generated. Let it be only in the inner tile of the room. We didn't specify the tile in the tiles preset. The tile is adjacent to the void tile and to itself. And also vertical neighbors. Regenerate. We can add a flame to the tile. Let's take a ready made blueprint from the plugin folder. Such a blueprint with fire. Generating. Now we can remove the lighting from the inner tile of the room, because we now have light coming from torches.
Let's create another tile type. A tile of boxes that will stand along the walls. Here is such a mesh. The boxes will stand near the walls. So we specify the tile of the wall of the room. And we indicate that the relative rotation should be zero. The tile must match the position of the wall tile itself. The type of symmetry is T, just like the wall tile. Add it to the tiles preset. Since the void tile is generated only in rooms, there is no void tile outside the rooms, the tile can border the void tile on the sides and in front. This side will border it with the generation boundary. It can border on the torch and itself. Generating. Here we have boxes. Let's remove the cube from the void tile. We can diversify the boxes with another mesh. Let's add another barrel to the tile settings. The mesh will be selected randomly. Barrels also appeared. That's it. Thank you all.